Soldier Boy needs to be stopped. There's something I never thought I would say. <laughs> to my younger viewers, or possibly just any of you out there, if you don't know who Soldier Boy is. Who, Soldier Boy? You! Soldier Boy had a pretty large hit, I believe in 2007, so I would have been 17 at the time. Holy moly, I'm getting old. And all I remember of that song is absolutely hating it. So, hey, I got the new damn for y'all called a Soldier Boy. It started with like, oh, you, Soldier Boy, let me grind that. Oh, I can't even remember, honestly. This is like a decade ago now. And the name Soldier Boy left my brain. I haven't thought of this character in 10 years until now. You probably would have already seen about a week ago, Soldier Boy dropped the Soldier Game console. Now, this blew up. I mean, even PewDiePie talked about it. Everyone talked about it. I felt like it was redundant to even talk about it. But now, it's gotten even more ridiculous. And you guys might already be thinking, well, yeah, no, I know what it is. Yeah, he released another console. Well, no, actually, there's even new news on top of that. Now, now, Soldier Boy is launching his own esports organization. What is going on right now? What is happening? <laughs> Who is the- who is telling Soldier Boy to do this stuff? And then I want to go through some of his tweets about it because, oh my lord, some of his tweets are so ironically hilarious. You have to see this. But before we dive into all of this, sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about some Soldier trash. Hey, beat mups. Hey, Woods. Oh my god, it's Billy Gunn! Let's just go through the listing here. Now, actually, let's start by showing you this over on AliExpress. Now, this is hilarious to me. And if you're a fan of this channel, if you've been subscribed for a while, you probably saw that Kim and I made a very funny video where she bought me a bunch of knockoff Nintendo systems. I had never seen them before. I didn't know what she was buying. All I knew was she was buying really cheap crap from this website called Wish. And what she bought was these SNES and NES clones. And when we hooked them up and played them, sh sure enough, they were horrible. They were running some terrible NES ROMs, games that weren't even playable. Well, that was, again, from Wish, a website just like AliExpress. And uh, funny enough, if you actually dive into AliExpress far enough, you will find these systems. And here we go. We have the Super Nintendo or the Super Famicom clone. Also, this weird-looking Sonic clone, which Kim got in blue for us. All of these horrible systems that you saw me review, th that, that is what we're looking at. Even this one. Even the Soldier Game Con- It's the same cheap knockoff crap. Don't think it's going to be any different. I mean, heck, look at this, this NES Famicom ripoff. It's showing Mario Kart 8. And I, I want to highlight this because when we get to Soldier Game consoles, we're going to see the same thing. Mario Kart 8, a Nintendo game, they're advertising this front page. First thing you see, first image, Mario Kart 8. That is nowhere near this system. And if you want proof, you can watch my video because we literally reviewed this system. I mean, I'm off topic now, but this is the relative amount of crap that you get from AliExpress or Wish. A system promoting itself as something it's not. That's what you can get from AliExpress. And now what Soldier Boy is doing, or at least what his marketing team is doing, or what his, I don't even know who it is that's getting him to put his name on this. They're buying this. This retro mini video game system supports 4K output, blah, 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 80 bucks, right? And now he's rebranding it as the Soldier Game Console, saying that it was 200, which is an arbitrary number they've just slapped on the site to make it look like it's on sale because we just saw it's 80 bucks and they're selling it for 150. So actually it's 80 bucks crossed out to 150. You! Add to cart, pay with PayPal right now, I can't wait. Let me throw this bad boy in my Christmas stocking. Soldier Boy And you can see right here, it's all broken English. Package, yes, great, it comes with package, fantastic. But apparently it plays Soldier Game, which is a made up, know nothing nonsense word. PlayStation, Neo Geo, PC, Sega, GBA, NES video games. So right there it's advertising it plays all of these things. So Soldier Boy, a pretty big name in the industry, or at least he was 10 years ago, I don't know if he still is, I'm not trying to be offensive, I just haven't heard his name in a while. Ooh, Soulja Boy? But either way, a name in the industry is now marketing and selling his own console with illegal NES ROMs. And I, I want to highlight the NES ones here. I mean, all of these are illegal and immoral, but I want to highlight the NES ones because this brings me to a point I wanted to get to and let's just get to it right away. Hey, anyone else remember that Nintendo was suing people recently? Suing a husband and wife $12 million. 
They won a lawsuit for 12, they actually sued them for 100 million, but they won the lawsuit for 12 million. Just a married couple, Jacob and Christine. I, I'm sure they're screwed now. A lot of people are saying they're, they're probably fine because they made a lot of money selling these ROMs, but I'm sorry. There's no way that this industry makes the makes this couple so much money that they can just give Nintendo $12 million and be good. Be right, be just fine and dandy. No, they, they sent this couple broke, I'm sure. I mean, if they even have to pay this $12 million, maybe that's a legality, maybe there's a way around it, maybe with good payments or something they can bring that maybe there's a workaround around it but either way they sued for 100 million and they and they won for 12 million and now soldier boy is selling something and you know when they make these consoles where do you think they get the games from do you think they knock on nintendo's door do you think they say hey reggie we're making this knockoff nintendo super nintendo system we just want to throw some roms on there do you mind giving us a couple nah you know what they do they went to that exact same site i guarantee you that exact same site that nintendo sued and got taken down and they downloaded these roms illegally they threw them onto the soldier game console uh, this little nes little part here and soldier boy is going to sell them how is that right how is that right you're going to sue a happy little married couple just trying to make a quick buck on the internet what they were doing wasn't right i'm not trying to glorify it but what soldier boy is doing is arguably worse over 800 built-in games we have some images here of the crappy system, which comes with the AV outputs as well as HDMI. I mean, if your console's putting out 4K, why would you ever hook up the red, white, and yellow? That's, so that's the Soldier Game console. He also put out the Soldier Game handheld, which is the same crap. It's got Game Boy games, NES games, Vita games, which I highly doubt it has 3DS and Vita games. I highly, highly doubt it. it even says Switch on. This is the one I guess said Switch on it, and I guarantee you there's not a Switch game in sight. I was gonna buy this, by the way, but the ship time was like like three weeks and it, it, there's no point by the time I even got it this was gonna be old news but there's no way that it has any of this and you're telling me Nintendo's not okay with uh, with a couple selling NES games but they're a-okay with somebody selling switch games right now really really soldier boy they're okay with you but Nintendo's okay with you selling switch games it's clearly not got switch games on it but even just marketing it as having switch games I think is kind of ludicrous so that's that's the same crap you know you got your soldier pods your gift cards if you want to get someone a gift card for Christmas your soldier watch so that's what we initially went through when he released these soldier game consoles every corner of the internet called him out for this because it's dodgy as holy heck but that hasn't stopped Soldier Boy because he's gone and made the Soldier Game Fuse. And again, if you've been on the internet the last few days, you've probably seen this flying around. But it's a $400 system. $400. If you go over here, AliExpress is selling it for $320. So it's not as much of a markup for Soldier Boy this time. 80 bucks more. Who is buying this for $400 when you have the Nintendo Switch for $300? And, and, and by the way, this might look like something that can put out, you know, Xbox One X quality, PlayStation Pro quality. It might look like it has some games, which they highlighted the weirdest games in this one. Mighty Number no. 9? Like, no one's buying a $400 system for Mighty Number no. 9. Come on. <laughs> of all the things, that's gonna put people, that's gonna turn people away. Way. So I go on a tangent here about the games on the system and I forgot to finish my first thought which was to say that it's actually less powerful than the Switch. Essentially it just plays the same NES ROMs. It can't play anything better than that. So you're spending $400 on an NES emulator? Oh my word. If you want a better breakdown of the system's actual specs, Spawnwave actually has a really good video on it. So I'm gonna leave a link to his stuff down below. Just a great guy in general. So you should definitely check him out. All right, back to the video. But there's, no, there's nothing here that's really jumping out to me. They've made it look like they have these companies on board with them. Ubisoft, 505 Games, you know, some reputable companies. Deep Silver, I actually really like a lot of their games. But you know they've just taken these images and slapped them on here. Like, 200 plus partners, that doesn't mean nothing. I mean, it's even more apparent when you look at what they have actually wrote here. Abundant games play any time. There's not even a space between that comma. The introduction of paragraph 76 games, that doesn't even make English sense. That's nonsense words. The introduction of paragraph 76 games. What, what does that mean? What does that mean? You said you have over 200 plus developers or content partners, but only 76 games. Starting 20 games, shock. Like, what does that even mean? What do these words even mean when you just throw them together? Does it have 20 games? Do 20 games start shockingly? Are they, uh, what, what does this mean? Package, yes, again, thank goodness. Brand, Soldier Tech, and this is another thing. 
you might be thinking to yourself, well, may, uh, that's ridiculous, right? He's taking these consoles, he's slapping his own branding on them. But he's not even doing that. Like, it still just says Fuse. Like, the exact same thing this says. They look no different. He hasn't added branding to them. They don't come in a Soldier Boy box. Nothing about this is branded Soldier Boy other than the website says Soldier Game. This is ludicrous. This in itself needs to stop. He can't keep doing this. He can't keep making consoles and shoveling them out. I don't know who's buying them, but oh my gosh. Like, I don't know how he's getting away with this, if he's even getting away with this. I don't know what's going on. So that's what he's marketing, that's what he's selling. He's, he's stealing these things from a website, marketing them as his own, but not actually changing them or, at all. It's just a way that someone behind his brand has found to make a quick buck. So that's when we get to his tweets. Now, this is where I think it starts to get very, as I said, hilariously ironic, but just ridiculous. Just ridiculous! Soldier Boy, Draco, don't know what that means, made over a hundred thousand just today. And then he links something on Instagram. Oh, he actually links his total sales. <laughs> Humble bragging at its best. Weird flex, Soldier Boy. You're bragging about selling something that you, like, literally, like, I could do this. I could literally go to AliExpress right now, pick any of these systems, throw them up online, anywhere, and just wood console. Beat em up's boy. Beat em up's game. Like, that's what he's doing. And that's all I, all, I, all I would have to do then is buy it from AliExpress, wait till it gets delivered to me, and then take the extra money from whatever poor sucker. When did that fall down? Really? How long have you been in shot? You ridiculous. And then ship it to them when it gets to me. And then brag about it. Brag about how much you're making. Classy. Class act. That is, that is, that's like school in July. And then, there was another one, made almost a million dollars yesterday, and he did it again. He shared his sales, almost a million dollars. He's making, he's making actual, apparently, if, if I'm, if I'm led to believe what he's tweeting here, he's actually making money off of this, which I find ridiculous. Soldier Boy needs to be stopped. Here he is sharing his own thing, sharing his stupid, soldierwatch.com, order today, perfect Christmas gift. Perfect Christmas gift. Perfect Christmas gift. Oh my word, this is worse than when a grandmother goes into GameStop and asks for the recommended game of the year. The poor GameStop employee doesn't know what they're talking about and they recommend something like Fallout 76 because that was a big release. And then the kid opens it on Christmas thinking it's gonna be Smash Brothers or Red Dead Redemption and now he's looking at Fallout 76. That's, that's what you're advertising, Soldier Boy. Again, a Christmas gift idea right here. Now, XXL Magazine tweeted this and then he retweeted it. So I don't know what XXL Magazine is, but this is not a reputable site. They have 2 million followers and they're tweeting great Christmas gift on this. Whatever this is, whatever this is, you have lost all credibility. I'd never heard of you before now and I never want to see your face again. Ridiculous. Thank you for all your support. We are now past $1 million in sales. So he's, he's big, big news. We are partnering with Ubisoft. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you are not. Ubisoft, no, you are not. Ubisoft is partnering with Nintendo. They're making their own games. They're focused on they're, they're, they're focused on Assassin's Creed. They're focused on Tom Clancy's. They're not focused on the Soldier game. No, you are not. Partnering with Ubisoft, Soldier Boy doesn't know anything about game systems. He doesn't know anything about the gaming world. It's clear to see. So in his eyes, partnering with Ubisoft, you know what that is? That's, we've stolen Ubisoft games and put them on our console and now we're partnered with Ubisoft. That's what he thinks that means. And he doesn't, I don't think he realizes that there's repercussions here. That you can't just say these things like they're fact, like they're word, and have people believe them. Like, I don't think he realizes the legal trouble he is in, because I, I legitimately don't think he understands gaming world, the gaming culture, gaming anything. I don't think he understands what he's saying and what he's doing. And this is the one that I love. This is the one. This is the one, Soldier Boy. I can't wait until this whole thing inevitably goes to court and he tries to say he didn't know what he was doing. He didn't understand. It was a mistake because it is. A mistake repeated more than once is a decision. <laughs> there it is. You did it. Soldier Boy, you made the mistake once. Everyone called you out for it. And then you made the decision to do it a second time. What did I just do with my hand? That's a weird way to count. You did it twice. You made the decision to sell another knockoff, cheap, false advertising system for way too much. It's morally wrong and it's legally wrong. It's a mistake you have made twice. And in your own words, it is a decision. 
So when you go to court and you try to say it was a mistake, remember your own words. No, it wasn't a mistake, it was a decision. Nintendo, if you want money, if you want to make a statement, if you want to, if you want to make a point out of anyone, make a point out of Soldier Boy, sue him for a hundred million, because he makes that in a day, apparently. Huge thank you to badass Billy Gunn for being a part of this video. Oh, and by the way, he still has one thing left to say to our good friend RGT85. It's your favorite person, badass Billy Gunn. Beat em Ups is my favorite YouTube channel. And of course, if you're not down with that, I got two words for you. RGT85, suck it. <laughs> Best 50 bucks I ever spent. Thank you guys, subscribe. Click on top on this video right here if you enjoyed this one because you'll probably enjoy the rest of my videos. Who knows, there's only one way to find out. Make sure to pick up my new console, Woodison Game Fuse. Links down below. Actually, my merch will be down below if you want to grab that. That's, that's all I'm gonna sell.